Polio survivors were are determined to ensure that our membership is no more. So the traditional rulers like our father, he would like his son to inherit the same seat, but I will not like my son to be polio survivor. I'm calling on all parents to please, please, please make sure that this year we have no any polio rejection or mischild in this country. IPB introduction is so that you can go the last mile in a polio eradication. This is to ensure that we don't have, no longer have multiple campaigns for polio. That's going to do this job. I think we did have uh, major challenges for IPB introduction. The important lesson is consensus. It was very important uh, that everybody was brought along from the beginning. The government uh, took the lead, uh, medical associations had that advocacy role. The partners providing the technical uh, aspects, traditional leaders and religious leaders, they play a very important role in convincing the, uh, the, the communities to re-accept the vaccine. IPV is a polio vaccine. We anticipated that there may be problem. So the advocacy was stronger, uh, the need to build trust was stronger, the need to be extremely very transparent was stronger. The introduction process, which involved sensitization, serious sensitization. We presented messages like me, like the, if I can say user-friendly, community-friendly messages, telling them the benefits of the IPV, telling them the disadvantages of having a paralyzed child, telling them uh, the advantage of getting this job done quickly in Nigeria so that you can join the rest of the world in celebrating a polio free environment. And I tell you that even the introduction of this IPV has not in any way decreased acceptability. It's left for us now to encourage, you know, caregivers, mothers, parents at any fora that we come in contact with them. At women meetings, in the markets, in churches, in mosques, so we should spread the news. All children should avail themselves. The parents should bring them to, to get this uh, IPV injection. We advise mother that they try as much as possible to let their child be immunized. When your child is healthy, you will be free. It will improve their immune system and it will help us fight more against the poliomyelitis in the country. By what we're doing now, actually, polio might not have its uh, root anywhere again. I believe necessarily my children will be the first to, you know, to, to, to receive it. My prayer last me is that this year and forever we will not have polio in this country. Thank you. Thank you very much.